Check this out. Well, we're back, and you're watching The Mailbag here on The Dean Show. I'm Yusuf Festus. We were talking about original sin. The original sin, as far as we know in Islam, is when the devil refused to obey because of his arrogance. And he said, I'm better than Adam, created from a better substance, that he was created from a smokeless fire, whereas Adam is created from mud. So that's the beginning of the original sin. But now, where does it go? Now, in Judaism and Christianity, you'll find in what remains of the Bible today, in the English language, something that they refer to as original sin. And they're talking about the sin of Adam. What happened was that in the paradise where Adam was residing along with his wife Eve, they were ordered by Allah to enjoy and take part of anything that they wanted except for one tree. Don't eat the fruit of this specific tree in the paradise. It was the devil, according to the story that we have in Islam as well, that came to them and got them to partake of this. Now, according to the Bible, it was the devil talking to the woman, and then she did it, and then she got the husband to do the same thing. According to Islam, the devil went to both of them, and they both did it. So there's no blame in Islam on Eve over Adam. They're both guilty, they both did it, and there's not any special punishment for her versus him. They were both guilty, and all of them, including the devil, were put down out of the paradise onto the earth to begin their lives. Because this was always intended by Allah from the beginning. He always intended for them to come to the earth, and he already knew what was going to happen. This is a test. That's the belief in Islam. And now let's understand something about the original sin. According to Islam, how does this work? Well, if you said that all of the children are going to inherit this sin because of what the parents did, according to Islam, this is not logical. Allah says in the Quran that he doesn't task any soul for more than they can bear, nor does he put the burden of one onto another. That's not in the way in Islam. Allah says in the Quran, لا يكلف له نفس إلا وسها لها ما كسبت وعليها ما تسبت. So we understand right away that each and every person will be responsible for what they do. And Allah says that in the Quran too, that on the day of judgment, even somebody did a small weight of good, they'll see it then. And whoever did a small weight of evil, they'll see it then. So how about this idea that a child is born into sin? Islam refuses this notion altogether and categorically denies that that's even possible because the old saying which says innocent as a newborn babe may have originated in Islam itself because it was the Prophet Muhammad who said that every child is born in the natural fitra of all Islam. Every child is born innocent. Islam is to be innocent and sincere and submissive and totally at peace with Almighty Allah. And this is the condition of a baby. And this is the condition of what? The true Muslim should be the same way. And this is what was told to us by Muhammad. And it's not different from the teaching of Jesus. If you really look to scripture, if you look to scripture, what they have today anyway, it says that Jesus told them, suffer the children to come unto me, which mean allow. It didn't mean force them, punish them or whatever. It meant allow the children to come because they were driving the children back. It was crowded and they died, no room for kids. But no, he said, let them come to me for such is the kingdom of heaven. And Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, confirms this by saying that when a child dies, they go to heaven. It regardless of the religion of the parents. Regardless of the religion of the parents. Let's go back and revisit this statement again. He said that every child is born on the fitra, the natural inclination of Islam to submit to God. But it's the parents who raise them up to become a Christian or a Jew or a fire worshiper. But Islam is showing us when a child dies, regardless of the religion of the parents, the child is going to paradise. And the child will be in paradise calling, Oh God, please let my parents come be with me. Let my parents be with me. This is the teaching of Islam. Original sin? I think we better relook really at that one again. Let's go back to the Dean Show and see what's happening over there. And we'll be right here.